Hello children. In social studies class 4, as we continue the chapter, the northern mountains, we are going to discuss today the Himalayan ranges and the Purvachal ranges. So what are mountain ranges? Children, a mountain range is a series or chain of mountains or hills ranged in a line and are connected to each other. The northern mountain is divided into three divisions, the Karakoram ranges, the Himalayan ranges and the Purvachal ranges. The word Himalaya means a board of snow, that means home of snow which is covered with snow. The Himalayan range or the Himalaya stretches from Jammu and Kashmir to the north and Arunachal Pradesh in the northeast. The Himalayan ranges are divided into three mountain ranges. The greater Himalayas, that is the Himadri, the top portion, the peak of the mountains. The lesser Himalayas, that is the middle portion. And the outer Himalayas, that is the lowest or southernmost portion. The Himadri. The Himadri is permanently, these peaks are permanently covered with snow throughout the year, remember. And Himadri is home of two glaciers and these two glaciers are very important because they provide us water throughout the year. One is Gangotri glacier which becomes Ganges or Ganga and the other one is Yamunotri which is Yamuna. River Indus and Brahmaputra also originates in the Himadri. River Indus as you have studied, it enters India and then or, uh, flows down to Pakistan. Even Brahmaputra, it enters India through Arunachal Pradesh and then flows to Assam. The highest mountain peaks are Mount Everest in the Himadri region, but that is in Nepal. But in India, the highest mountain peak is Kanchanjunga and whose height is 8586 meter. The Himachal. The Himachal lies to the south, that is down of Himadri. It is covered with coniferous forest. That means the trees which have the shape of cones, cone-shaped trees. And some of the peaks are covered with snow, but not the entire year. Snowfalls happen in the winter season. Famous hill stations are Shimla, Kulu, Manali, Darjeeling, etc. And I am sure some of you have, mu have must visited these hill stations. The Shivalik. It is the lowest and the southernmost range of the Himalayas. Here the slopes are covered with thick forest. Because it has thick forest, it has variety of wild animals and beautiful flowers also. When the Shivalik merges with foothills of the Himalayas, it is called the Terai region. This Terai region receives plenty of rainfall and it is very good for the plantation of spices and tea. Now we will take a look on the Purvachal ranges. The Purvachal range means eastern mountains which covers the area of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Meghalaya. This Purvachal range is home of flowers and animals and it has two places which receives the highest rainfall, Cherapunji and Mausindram. Some of the hills of Purvachal range are the Garo Hills, the Naga Hills, the Lusai Hills, 